Hi guys, Summers here. This is a short video explainer of the Mercedes wheel rim design. It's a matter that's come to the fore as the quite complicated design caught the eye of Ferrari, who whilst in conversation with the FIA felt that it contravened the movable aerodynamic clause in the regulations. Ferrari see the solution as an aerodynamic one, whilst the FIA have been assured by Mercedes that its primary function is to help control the temperature of the rear tyres. This has been an issue for Mercedes for many years, and we've seen them deploy several solutions down the years to try and help manage rear tyre temperatures, so it's no shock to see that they've tried something different here. There are two temperatures to consider when it comes to tyres. The core temperature, which is the temperature of the gas mixture inside the tyre, and the tread temperature, which is affected by the tyre sliding across the track surface. In order to get the best from the tyre, there is a temperature sweet spot between both of these, the holy grail as it were, and one that gives the best performance over the course of one lap or a stint. The new wheel design used by Mercedes features several parts to it, the first of which, and the one which caught everyone's attention at the beginning, are the fins that are placed on the outer face of the wheel, on the left hand side in this picture. We've seen other teams such as Red Bull and Force India use these fins in the past, albeit not as large as the ones used here by Mercedes. However, the recent furore caused by Ferrari has required us to dig a little deeper, finding several other dis discrepancies between the new and old designs. If we take a look at this wonderful picture captured by Toby Gruner for Automotor and Sport, we can see that the team have amended the locator ring that's housed on the wheel's central hub. It now features these small pinholes, shown here with the red arrow, whilst also inside the wheels the centre ball we can see several holes too, shown here with the white arrow. The previous locator ring was a little more simple, with larger holes that lined up in a similar way but had been covered over with some sort of silicon or resin. This picture from a pit stop in Singapore was to hand and it shows the practice on the front wheel. So let's break it down a little with a series of cross section diagrams. Please be aware these are for illustration purposes only and aren't wholly accurate but build a picture of how the wheel is presented. Next, we must also take into account a design feature of the Mercedes wheel rims in recent years, which is the hollowed out spokes, the design of which have been altered in order to work with the internal indentations created by the outer fins on the wheel's outer face. So we can also assume that the gas volume inside the tyre can also move along the, the length of these spokes, which of course will have an impact on the overall temperature. This also means at the inner end of the wheel, the gas will meet with the cylindrical chamber in the centre of the wheel, highlighted in yellow, and by means of thermal conductivity, they could exchange temperature values, with the resultant warmed or cooled air left to escape out the axle via the centre bore holes. This is my interpretation of the system based on numerous photographs that are available to me, and whilst I can see Ferrari's concern about how this could be used for aerodynamic gains, it would appear that any gain is lessened by the convoluted pathway of the airflow through the wheel central hub, making it an entirely different prospect to the blown hub used and subsequently banned by Red Bull in 2012. Credit where credit's due to any of the photography that I've included in this uh, short video and also thanks to the patrons uh, for their help in being able to get uh, this kind of content out.